if you've been using Claude Code a lot recently, you've probably found it quite difficult to step away from a coding session because it constantly is asking you for permission to run commands, search the internet, or to do file edits and things like that. This is generally a good thing because it protects you from the agent doing anything that could potentially harm your machine, like removing files. For example, if it rang the wrong command, it could completely delete your hard drive, or it could maybe visit a website that has prompt injection and that prompt gets the agent to do something that it shouldn't to give somebody access to your system. There are security risks to letting the agent just do what it wants without asking for permission. Certain commands you can say, yes, we can accept this and don't ask me again, just do it. But sometimes you want to just run things in the background and just let it happen and come back later and check on it. In fact, Anthropic actually do this themselves. Their engineers will often let Claude work autonomously for 30 minutes and either accept the solution or restart fresh if it doesn't work. So how do they do that? They do it using something called YOLO mode, which is basically giving Claude the dangerously skip permissions flag, which bypasses all checks and lets Claude work uninterrupted until it completes the task. The best examples of this are things like fixing lint errors in your code or generating boilerplate code, like installing a new project. Now the problem with bypassing permission checks is what if Claude ran something like this command, which would completely delete my entire hard drive. In fact, I better close that before I accidentally hit enter. So we don't want to run Claude code in YOLO mode without some protection. And since Anthropic are the ones that recommend doing this, they've given us a reference implementation using Docker dev containers. So in this video, I'm going to show you very quickly how we can set this up and run it. The first thing we want to do is click on the Claude code link here and go back to the main repository. Then over here where you see code on the right hand side, if we click this, we can copy the URL to clone this. I'm using warp.dev as my terminal, but you can use whatever you want. We're just going to type git clone and then I'll paste that link in and hit enter. And you can see this is now cloned into a Claude code folder. If I list this out, we can see that. If I CD into Claude code, we can see it has a bunch of files. Notice the dev container folder is missing because it's hidden. We can do ls la to see that. This is the only folder we need. Everything else can be deleted. I'm going to switch to agent mode in my terminal, ask it to do that. Now that's been deleted, I can open this in cursor with vs. If you're wondering why my shortcut for cursor is VS, it's because it's quicker to type than cursor. Now to make this work, the first thing you need to do is install the Docker desktop here for your system. I have this installed already for Mac, but if you have a different operating system, you can install it from docker.com. The other thing you will need in extensions is dev containers. This is an extension by AnySphere who make cursor once you have Docker desktop and the dev containers extension installed, before we set this up, we need to make a quick change to the Anthropic dev container. The first change is here in the mount method. Since I'm using my Claude Max subscription, if I don't change this, what's going to happen is that every single time I open the container and use Claude code, it's going to ask me to log in again, which I don't want. So if I change this, it will now log back in again without having to go through the authentication request again. The last thing I'm going to change here is because I'm going to be using Next.js, I'm going to want to do npm run dev to test my app in the browser. Because it's inside of a Docker container, I won't be able to access it unless I make a very simple change. I basically need to forward port 3000 and make it accessible outside of the container. And to do that, I just add this. So we're going to forward port 3000 and it's for the next JS app. Now to run this for the first time, we do command shift P type dev containers and look for the option open folder in container. If I click that, make sure Claude code is selected and hit open. Press enter to name it. And now it's going to build the dev container for us. The first time will take a while, but once it's built, Next time you come back, it will open very quickly. Once the container is loaded, we can see that we are in the workspace folder. Now I can type Claude. I'm not going to set up YOLO just yet. 
because this is the first time we're using Claude inside the container, we're going to have to go through the basic setup steps first. I'm going to log in with my subscription. Once I'm logged in, I can use the recommended settings for now. I can trust the files in the folder and it's installed the cursor extension for me as well. Now what I'm going to do is close this container. I'm no longer in the container. We do command shift P and then we can choose the reopen in container option. And you see how much quicker that was the second time round. This time when we type Claude, we log straight in. There's no request for the whole setup and authentication process again, we're just here, which means if I exit, we can now run Claude, dangerously skip permissions. We can accept them and we can now run whatever we want and Claude will just go through it without any input from us. Here we see Claude's running a bash command. I'll pull that up there so you can see it's asking questions which it doesn't have interactive mode. So it's figuring it out for itself and echoing out to accept the correct options. It made an update to the home page without asking for my permission as well. And it has also run the command to open the development server, which we can see now is the app is running on port 3000. If I click open in browser, and we can see that the home page is now running. One thing I did have to change in package JSON was I had to remove Turbo Pack here. For some reason, it just wasn't compiling the site with that option enabled. So I had to remove it and then run it again. But we have a site set up and running in YOLO mode. And now we can ask Claude to build out features and it will just go off and do them without asking for our permission. Now, I don't generally use YOLO mode very much in Claude code. I much prefer to have a bit of control over it. But if I were trying to either debug an app, I just had it in read only mode, or I was trying to get it to fix lint errors or anything like that. Those are the kind of tasks that this are perfect for. Or if I was spinning up a brand new site like this and I just wanted to set it going, go and make myself a coffee, come back and then start working on it. This is a great way to do that. I'd be very interested to know if any of you are using YOLO mode with Claude code. If you are, let me know in the comments below.